Hello and welcome. Welcome to our new section. In this particular session, we are going to discuss another kind of neural network that is known as recurrent neural network, in short, RNN. The traditional neural network, they have done a tremendous job in our previous lab sessions and previous examples. But there are several kind of problems which are not good for traditional neural network. Especially for those challenges where we need to consider the sequence of events and the current instance to produce some output. For example, to classify a particular movie scene, it would be difficult for traditional neural network to categorize that particular movie clip. In this particular case, one of the influencing factor would be the sequence of events happened so far. To overcome that challenge, this particular type of neurons, neural network was designed, which considers the previous memories as well, along with current input to produce some output. Let me explain how it works. In the previous example, the word to vague embedding followed by convolution layers and dense layer to produce the output to classify our sentiment data for IMDb movie review. In that example itself, the flow of events or layers, it was something like input layer, then embedding layer, and then CNN layers, and then dense layers, and output layers. Now, if we replace those CNN layers with the recurrent neural network layers, this way, what will happen in the typical backward propagations will run through these directions from top to bottom or bottom to top. Along with that, there would be one more iterations for this particular layer itself where the learning will go vertically through this set of neurons to understand some context of the previous sequence of events. This I know this is a bit complicated but I have drawn another picture here to explain the, the RNN architecture. So uh, let's focus on this particular example. Here we are taking one input. This is uh, also encoded version of RNN uh, neural network. This is one taking. This is taking one input, xt. T is the current instance, and producing some output, ht, termed as ht. In other term, we can say the hidden layer output or ht. The neuron itself giving some feedback to itself. That means it is producing another state or another output which is fed to that neuron itself or that neural network itself. It's a kind of loop. So if I roll through it, so what I will get? I will get this set of uh, neurons. These individuals you can consider as modules. So in the first layer, first execution system or in the first module itself, it is taking one input xt. I just uh, switch the input and output direction, so that's okay as far as you can understand. It is taking one input, it is doing some calculations, it is producing some output. Along with that, it is sending some values, some memories to the next layers. Next layer taking the raw input and also using the previous feedback or previous memory as well which he got from the previous modules and producing some output h1 also it is creating another set of memories and passing those contents to the next module and this will go so on this whole vertical or horizontal operations will happen in this particular sections along with that the back propagations will also work. 
This is the concept of the RNA. What is the benefit of it? I will go inside these individual modules little later. But what is the benefit of it? Uh, let me explain that thing first. With the help of this, we can keep a certain portion of the previous sequence in our current memory so that uh, the current input and the, those memories can be merged together to produce the current output. One example which is coming to my mind as of now, you can, you can consider. I was born and brought up in France. That's why I can speak some language. And suppose this is the gap we have to fill. That's why I can speak French because I was born and brought up in France. This France would be passed through this sequence from one module to the other module so that our net network will know that there is some important term that is called France is there in the memory which happens very closely like 3-4 sentence back or maybe 3-4 words back and corresponding word is French like corresponding language is French that's why we are talking or we are referring to French this is how it works and this is how it helps these individual modules contain very simple uh, these individual modules contain very simple uh, activation operations normally they, are, they use uh, tanch function tanch activation function to produce the output and the cell state as well. Okay. Let's see. Uh, these these individual terms are sometimes called cell state. Okay. You will come to that term a little later when I will explain some of the advanced architecture of this uh, RNA. Okay. Let me draw uh, one basic kind of RNA or simple RNA module details. Assume this is one module. This is one important module which I am going to focus at this point and this is the successor modules. Okay. What is happening here, it is taking one input and forming at xt and it is getting some input from the previous module as well. I am forming at h t minus 1. Okay. t minus 1 is the previous frame. We are talking about now. We are merging these two, and we are performing some simple activation operations, and we are producing the output. That is this. Normally, these modules use tang function, tang activation function, to produce the output in a range between minus one and one. So this is the diagram of a very simple recurrent neural network. All these are kind of. Okay. Now, again there are, there are several big challenges in these RNA operations as well. Before that, we are going to implement uh, this simple RNA in our lab session shortly. As I was saying earlier, that there are another kind of challenges we have which are, which are not solved completely by this RNA operation as well. Especially for those kind of scenarios where the important words or important terms exist and they are far away from the current positions. For example, in the previous example we used I was born and brought up in France. Suppose that particular sentence is there before 20 sentences of the current 
sentence which we are going to predict the language. So in this particular scenario or this sort of scenarios, simple RNA struggles to maintain the depth of those information throughout that long time period. So what happens like they forget about all these sort of things or they get too many information to uh, struggle to find out uh, which information to pick up to predict that language. To overcome that thing, they have created and the smart architecture of this RNA flavor that is known as LSTM in short and known as long short term memory. Here we are using only one activation functions. They have many and kind of simplest or optimal version of them maintains four activation functions and they use some concept called gate it's a gated approach how it works they decide through that gate which information to maintain for long term which information to forget right away okay so using that gate concept they maintain those very critical information for very very long time so that later in those whole document they can use those uh, previously said or previously uh, collected in informations and they can do the predictions it is the diagram is a bit complicated let me write down but i will i will definitely go through each and every step so that you can understand how they are functioning and what is the benefit of them okay let me draw a simple picture of lstm model 